this is up, Nikki. You're always welcome to join me in expanding your knowledge base. Comments are always welcome, man. Please subscribe. What I'm actually doing right now is using a multimeter and it's set to, I'm setting it right now, I hope I didn't knock that out, oh, okay, but I'm setting it right now to the continuity where it's making the sound, see, gotta adjust this a little bit, it kind of knocked it out a little bit, okay, that's fine, I think. I'm just putting it where the display will be. Uh, we should be able to hear buzzing though. This is what. That's what this is going to be. Okay, it's an ISP shield from Evil Science. Okay, so it's an ISP soldering kit. I bought it a little while ago. I don't know which one I'm going to do first, whether it's going to be the clock or what, but I'm going to have to I have a new solder now, and I'm just wanting to test it. But before I test it, I want to um, actually see if I could trace some of these traces on this board. So we have our probes here. And remember, when you're doing a continuity, you don't have to worry about the polarity you know the negative or the positive is just you tracing with one and continuing on I had started just in the middle of the board so I do know these resistors here and the resistor is actually showing the shape of the resistors here so they'll be lined up here this is one side of the resistor. As you can see, the trace is going right through all of those. And then we have a trace actually coming, I believe, from this one up and on to the last one. So we're going to try it. I believe it's this one right here on to this one. Okay, you hear the buzz. So we have those two pins. Okay, so that one is the one that's right under the U. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 right here. Okay, and then this one is, most of the time it's coming up. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. I'm actually going to do it like this and keep this in mind. I know it normally goes down and then around and up. I'm going to do it like this. This was one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's nine. Yep. So we have seven on the one side and nine on the other side. Okay. This is just going to be wobbling all over the place. I'm actually keeping a track on this in my own little way. I'm wondering if this is coming off from here and going around. So let's just go ahead and touch this one, number seven. And then if it's going up and then around, when we touch this last one, it should be, and it is. Okay. Seven goes to R1, the back leg of R1, resistor one. So we have seven. Okay. And seven comes down. I'm wondering if it connects. It connects to 
the three volt here. Put our probe there. Okay. Then we trace it through the trace and then down to the three volt. And we get our sound. Okay. Continue on down to VCC, I believe. It's also connected. Okay. So that must be a power. Um, and I'm believing also this way. Yes. It's coming down. Now in this way, I can actually trace to see what's connecting to what. Just like, like I said, just like these traces were wires. You know. So that wire will be crossed like that from 7 to whatever. Then it will be up across and then it go up to the last resistor so that'll be a series of wires so just think about it like that all these traces hooking together is like wires hooking together okay make it work we see that this is here that is probably See, that's the last trace I see on this side. I'm probably going to have to flip it over for the rest, but for right now, I'm just working with top side. Okay, so we got this trace and this trace and that trace up. Okay, I believe that may be the ending of that. So let's just follow this one right here. And um, that's going to be, that's 7, we know, so that's 9. I believe that's connecting to, uh, these ceramic capacitors and a crystal down there. This 9 pin is coming down, it's connecting to this leg of ceramic capacitor and this leg of the crystal right so that's nine that's connected okay and that's connected if you can see why my big hands not in the way when we touch the probe to what's connected the numbers below change okay and you can also hear the buzz 10. We can see the trace for 10. It's this little curly part right here. Because I don't think 9 is connecting to anything else there. 10, we have it curling around to the back end of the crystal. On the other side of the crystal from where, what is that? nine was connected so it's going to the other side of the crystal you can hear it and you can see it underneath okay and then it's also going to cut i think this capacitor too so it's going to the other side capacitor too so nine is hooking down here to these two components okay so we have both sides of the crystal accounted for we don't know I guess the trace below is going to show us what's going on underneath for the metal we have that that bottom part all lined up right based on what we can see from the top side so we did this trace here okay we came around, did that, went up here and did that, that, all the way up here to that one. Then we did these here, um, down to the VCC. I don't believe we're going to be able to see any other other traces from the bottom there. 
now I'm believing that this trace is branching off to here so let's check it so this trace right here I believe is branching off to here and then over no okay that's the only place it could have went to and it's not connected so apparently it's not branching off well let's see make sure my sound is on okay that could be why okay so because I believe this here is connected so we go here and it's branching off it goes I knew it was connected so we got to make sure that our shift button is pushed down it might cause us to miss some things right I'm wondering if this this trace right here this one not sure where that goes cuz it's empty I believe it's to this one no okay all right so it's not to that one let's see so we have this one and it's going up to this run right here and it might connect to the rest of those so let's see so this is going to be one two three four five six seven okay so seven from the top part of that side and let's just check this one first As you can see, this tells you how you can find out what is hooked up to what, so that when you, if you want, if you want to do breadboarding, then you know what is hooked up to what, because you're seeing how the wires might hook up, you know, with each other, uh, you know, which, which jumper wires you might want to use, right? I'm Ebony Geek and I hope that the information provided has been helpful to you. Please remember to subscribe. Happy building and happy coding.